It's a Friday night in the fall, and that usually means a night out to a high school football game. But tonight's matchup between Monroe and Forest Hill was suspended, not because of what happened on the field, but because of a brawl between fans. Thanks for joining us for the News at 11. I'm Jane Monreal. We had a crew there covering the game tonight. They say the fight happened outside the stadium. Police in Monroe tell us details are still being sorted out at this hour. But around 9 p.m., officials suspended the game indefinitely and sent everyone home out of an abundance of caution. In a statement sent to us 20 minutes ago, the school district reiterates it, quote, does not support violent behavior and will not tolerate fights or any kind of aggressive conduct during athletic events. They went on to write, what we experienced tonight was embarrassing and disappointing, and we expect better behavior from our students, parents, and community members. They went on to thank staff and law enforcement for their quick response, adding the students involved will be disciplined according to the code of conduct. Well, tonight's incident, just the latest act of violence in local schools. One week ago, a fight broke out in the stands of Harding University football game in Charlotte. And Wednesday, multiple people were arrested after fights at Chester County High School. Tonight, Chesterfield County Schools rolling out new rules for football games. The district increasing security at inside and outside the stadiums. And a clear bag policy is in effect. And all students in eighth grade or below must have an adult chaperone. It's not anything that, that is, you know, trying to put extra burden on parents or what have you. But it's all about accountability and it's about making sure that we get to do or we get to enjoy the games. Charlotte Mecklenburg schools also reiterating their safety policy this week in the hopes of preventing more inappropriate and aggressive behavior at games. 